What's good, everybody out there on YouTube? This is your man Shattuck Stick dropping some hot Faraga on this mic. Today, we're going to be talking about Sonic the Hedgehog and more specifically the Sonic cartoon. Now, I know I haven't uploaded anything on this because I kind of wanted to collect my thoughts. This video is off the cuff, but I have some things to say in regards to the cartoon, how I feel like it should be executed and if I think it's going to be good or not. But before we start, I want to say thank you guys for all the support. We're on the road to 5K and we're <laughs> we're only a little bit under 700 subs uh, from 5K. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. But if you guys don't know, uh, recently the NX on Netflix account on Twitter leaked the Sonic the Hedgehog animated series that was supposed to be coming to Netflix. Now, we don't know if this was originally supposed to be released or announced on that date, but what many and what I have come to the conclusion is that uh, I think they essentially had this tweet scheduled for this time, but because of COVID and how the world is working, and how uh, many jobs within the animation industry, gaming industry, and just most entertainment industries overall have been pushed back, this kind of was at the bottom of the things they were worrying about and they forgot this tweet was there and they just kind of left it to sit there. The reason why we think that is is because they deleted it shortly after. But from what we could extrapolate from the tweet, it's going to be a CG animated series, so something along the lines of Sonic Boom in that regard. And then on top of that, it's going to be worked on by Wild Brain and by Man of Action. Now, I'm not super familiar with stuff Wild Brain has done. Some people, from what I've seen, are excited because they're involved. Some people are less so excited and not excited at all because they're involved. That's mostly because I think they worked on the Mega Man cartoon, and while I haven't watched much of that, it didn't really look all that good, especially when you look at the design of Mega Man and how the characters work within that world. Though I heard it's a pretty okay, mediocre show at best, and at worst, it's still mediocre, so it's just the epitome of mediocrity. But Man of Action is working on this series, and if you don't know who Man of Action is, the series they're most famed for you know, working on are Generator X and Ben 10, and most recently, I think, They've been worked. They've worked on the Avengers and I think Ultimate Spider-Man. So they are a studio that at least knows, uh, or at least tries to get to know the properties, and is known for writing really, I, gu I guess, good action cartoons. Most notably, Ben 10 and Generator X. But how do I think this should be executed? I think we don't need something along the lines of Sad AM. I know people want Sad AM. I hate Sad AM. I don't think it's good. I don't think the Archie comics are good. If you want that, go watch those shows. That's the only thing I can tell you because I honestly don't think they're good. I don't. I think they're bottom of the barrel. But then again, there are people that love them. But so if we get something along the lines of that, I'm not going to be upset. What I think they should do is really just kind of not even take the game's continuity. I don't think it should be involved with the game's continuity because it's kind of a mess as it is already. But kind of take the game continuity and the IDW continuity as a base. Use characters forth from that world and tell a, sto uh, a story with those characters. Not every episode has to be something that's connected to the overall overarching plot of the show. I mean, shows like Ben 10 show that you can get away with writing a lot of miniature arcs that eventually connect into the greater and grander plot of the show, creating a really nice universe. I hope they do something like that. And Man of Action is really good about doing that. I just hope they don't do something like Sonic X where they have characters and they introduce characters to that universe that don't really necessarily fit in and then have those characters on top of being there take up more screen time than Sonic in game. For a large portion of Sonic X, it just didn't feel like Sonic was the main character of the show named after him. And that was my problem what many people have a problem with. It's not the fact that Chris Thorndike existed, it's the fact that he was the main character instead of Sonic despite the show being called Sonic X. I think this is how it should be executed, and that's kind of what I'm expecting because Man of Action is known for telling stories like that. They're known for writing really well action-based cartoon or cartoons that are driven by action, action-driven cartoons. Now, if it isn't and it's something that's comedic like Sonic Boom, I'm not going to get upset because I really think Sonic Boom is the best cartoon we've gotten, period. Because while Sonic Boom wasn't an action-driven series and it was a comedy, I think it did really well in the world it created. It didn't create this expectation of it being an action-driven series. It was a comedy series with action, you know, sprinkled in. And it kind of reinvented the, the way characters interacted with each other and, you know, who exactly the characters were. And honestly, I really liked the writing in Sonic Boom. It was pretty great. So if we get to see something along the lines of Sonic Boom, I'm not going to be upset because I think the show specifically, not the games, 
I think the show really, I think, w was well executed. And maybe we can have a combination of both. I mean, I would really like that. Man of Action doesn't stray away from Slice of Life or comedic episodes in their series. If anything, they're kind of known for kind of implementing comedy within their action-driven series in a way that engages the viewer and keeps them watching for more than just the action and more than just the serious plot. And that's what I like. But what would you guys like to see? Tell me in that comment section down below. Would you like to see something along the lines of Sat AM? I know a lot of people in the Sat AM and Archie group are hoping for something like that, but I'm really hoping for something not like that. I don't want that for the series. But then again, that's just me. I don't think the Archie comics were good, and I don't think that Sat AM was good. But you know what they say, opinions are opinions are opinions, or they, they don't really say that, I'm just making that up. You know, gotta set the damage control alarm. <laughs> Or do you want just a action driven series with some comedy sprinkled in or a comedy driven series with some action sprinkled in like Sonic Boom? And what are you expecting from the series? I'm expecting something like a Ben 10 or a Generator X in all honesty, because those shows were amazing. On top of having great animation, they were just they just had really great stories and they had great characters that the audience could get invested in. Again, that's Man of Action's forte. But hey, this has been your man Shattuck Stick. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Remember, Hot Faraga turns to Cloak Blazaga. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. Please follow your boy on Twitter. Your boy's trying to get the 300 followers because he lost his old like account with like 900 followers. Make sure you join the Discord. Links are as always are down in the description below. Again, remember, Hot Faraga turns to Cloak Blazaga. Check out some of my other videos. Peace, kiss, kiss.